Now, Nolene Todu is contracted with Netball New Zealand until the end of February. Jenny, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? This is obviously a decision that, as you say, um, has you know been one that you've actually had to sit there and wrestle with. Oh, absolutely. Um, but it was important to spend the time with, with Knowles as the incumbent and have a really broad discussion so that we got this right for us all going forward. Yeah, so what does it mean that head coach is up for grabs? Does that mean that she's, you know, her hat's still in the ring? Absolutely. So what we wanted to do is put the job out to market. And it was really critical that we took on board, you know, a lot of what um, has happened in, in the last 12 months for the World Cup um, and our review process and make sure that we collectively test ourselves against the very best that are out there. But, yeah, Knowles is absolutely in the mix. Does that mean um, that you'd be more than happy to have a coach from outside of New Zealand coaching the Silver Ferns? Well, I think we're open to having the very best person in the job. Um, we've got some great talent in New Zealand. The depth is there. But there's also some amazing emerging Kiwis that are offshore and others. So I think it's a, a process of making sure that everyone puts their best foot forward. Okay, and... You know, Nolene has said, you know, a previous that, you know, she was going to take some time out, take some time to actually think about it. Um, so, you know, is, 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 is she quite happy if it goes either way or does she really want it? Well, I think she really wants it. She wouldn't be in the mix unless she was going to put her 100% into it. Um, but she has also said for integrity, transparency, the right thing, uh, and she agrees with our position that we take this to market. Where are we at at the moment in terms of the strength of our side? Our, our obviously, our Silver Fern side. Yeah, look, we've had a we've had a mixed twelve months. Um, disappointing Nepal World Cup, a um, few injuries and a few other things that we we needed to bounce back from, and it's taken us a while. Uh, really positive in terms of Constellation Cup and Nations Cup. We had a truckload of great, amazing new talent out there. Um, who really need some time and experience to build. So I think we've got a bit of a transition going on, but um, with strong leadership, we expect that to be, you know, a great investment for the future. Jenny Wiley is with the CEO of New Zealand Netball. In terms of still attracting, you know, the best young female athletes to play, with obviously, you know, rugby is there, you know, there are other sports as well. Cricket is there and both of these sports, you know, can be a professional and quite a bit of cash at. Does that worry you at all? And have you seen any kind of data that says, hey, you should be worried about it? Well, it's certainly something that we're very aware of. We want to ensure that we provide a great experience in our game. But interestingly, what we've found is our participation numbers are creeping back after COVID and growing year on year. And I think that's a testament to the environment and experience that we believe is really important to growing great young uh, women who go on to represent their country. So it's absolutely a watching brief. Um, but I think all Kiwis should have the opportunity, no matter what sport, and if more women across the board have those opportunities at an elite level, I think that's great. What kind of thought has been put into kind of aligning with Australia in every possible way to, you know, because two is better than one, isn't it? And they, you know, their, their netball seems in a nice strong footing at the moment, financial as well. I guess I'm, I'm heading down the path of getting our teams back in their league for a start. Yeah, look, Martin, that's absolutely something that we've had detailed discussions over. Um, what Kiwis might not have known is they've had a bit of turmoil there in terms of both their performance environment and financial environment um, and they're in a transitionary phase in terms of their leadership but we've got really strong relationships in there and having some really good robust conversations around what the future might look like so I think that's um, it's certainly not off the cards and it's, it's something that we think is worth exploring more with them. A couple more questions. We'll let you go. Thank you so much for your time at such short notice, too. I read an article the other day about, you know, you're going to have to go back to Sky TV and renegotiate a deal. How is that going? Are they offering you less money, more money, same money? What? Oh, look, we're not going to talk about any commercial negotiations. Um, but what we, you know, our job is to get the best outcome for our sport to ensure that our female athletes and female coaches have the ability to work and be paid adequately um, for the job that they do. So uh, that's an ongoing discussion, um, but really positive and moving forward with that with our partners. It's, it's a balance the books thing always for you, though, isn't it, with netball? It's not as though you're always flush with cash. 
Well, I think we don't have the benefit of an offshore broadcaster or offshore um, playing base that is able to invest money um, throughout the sport. And I think that's been no different for the last 100 years, um, for particularly for women's sport. And I think we've always had to find a way. Um, and so that requires innovation and being really careful with what you do invest in. So, yeah, I'm not seeing that change in the future. Timeline then for Coach, uh, when can we expect an announcement? Yeah, absolutely. So advertising imminently, um, and then we'll be assembling the panel, which will be made up of board members, independents, and player reps, um, and that process will take a couple of weeks. We expect to know by the end of April and um, be able to announce our next Silver Fence coach. Appreciate your time as always. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Jenny Wiley, CEO of New Zealand. <laughs>